Hello everyone, welcome back to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today is part three of three of Out There Engines in the old school series. Um, between shoots I picked up this one from behind me. I didn't go out to the shop or anything. Uh, this is from 1978 so I thought I'd zip through this one to continue the theme of just flicking through the catalogues of the 70s to see if I've got any of out there engines uh, in, in any of the ones I was looking for. Um, so I've got uh, number 24 up here. Uh, it's the team matchbox. That's all they're calling it. So I've got that one there. It's a 73 copyright. Quite a hefty casting, this one. See, they've used the same dude um, in many cars. I wonder if it's exactly, it does look like the same plastic moulding. And I wonder if they used exactly the same one. No, it's got a difference. So they had to remake that injection moulding for the plastic bit. What about that one? He appears the same. Yep. And actually, is that him there? Yes it is. Hmm. See if we can balance him back there. Good. So yeah, I'll Probably wouldn't call that an out there engine, but we'll slip them in anyway. And moving right along, number 27 just below that is the Lambo. Again, we'll just sneak him in. Um, it's in there. I'm sure I had other ones of that, but you have to flip the lid to get the, uh, the engine view. So not really out there, but we'll sneak him in too. Ah, oh, didn't show you the bottom. Not sure what year that says. You'll probably be able to read it. Got another few of these around the place with different tinted windows. Let's put them there. And ah, oh, this strange looking one. I think I have a variant of that. Not sure what the dealio was there. Uh, the Fandango. It's a Rollomatic. So that's the white version. They kept the same race number of 35. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, as the wheel spins, so does the fan. So I suppose that's a. And out there engine is the base. It's in good condition this one. So that's that one. What else? We did the tractor. Um, we did the Mustang. Um, this one here, number 43, where are you? It's like the um, class roll call, isn't it? 43. Uh, Dragon Wheels, obviously a Beetle, 1972, if I can read that with my beady eyes, and that's got a prop up. I wonder if that came with the man as well, but uh, not this particular one. So yeah, that's him. Go for an out there engine on that. Um, Nothing there, and one last page of this. And I've got this, well, I've got these two. 55 is the Hellraiser, of course it is. Um, Hellraiser, where are you? Hellraiser. Hmm. Oh, I know why, because we've already covered him. There we are. Here's the Hellraiser in white. That was from part one. If you missed that, tune in. 
And number 56 is the high tailor. High tailor. Come here, step forward. Oops, flip over. Um, they've got him with an orange man. It's number 5 MB team matchbox. So variant there. It's the blue man, unpainted base, 74 copyright. And I don't think there's any difference with that one. One's in better nick. Yeah. Three rivets, big heavy casting. So they can go there. What else? Um, covered that. Oh, the Capri. We covered that in part one. Um, this one here, I don't know if that is supposed to be an engine. It's the Cosmobile, so I'm not sure. It's that one there. Um, 1975, and this is 78 catalogue. So it's not in the greatest shape, but not too bad. Not too bad. And we covered the Blue Shark, and that's up to 68. That's one more page. Oh, number 69 would be the Turbo Fury. Turbo Fury. Now, I wonder if Matchbox are going to come out with a follow-up. I wonder if that casting survived. I assume if it did, they would have done it already. But maybe not. Maybe they'll bring this one out again. Such a heavy casting. Again, Rollomatics, the wheel turns the fan at the back. That's an out there engine. Imagine the horsepower, if it were real. Nice shiny black base, so we can't read it. You might be able to. I don't think there's a difference on these, apart from one's got a paint chip. Show them the best side. Yeah, amazing that uh, the paintwork has stood up for so long. Glad that they did. So they can go there. And... Where are we? Oh, that, that must be the last page. We're up to 75 already. Hmm. Do we have... Uh, we've got some that we've missed out, haven't we? Just quickly flick through to see if I can find them. Mm, did that, did that, did that. Um, oh, what is that? This one here, again, not really an out the air engine. You can see it through the glass. But this is a lovely casting. This is the Ford Group. Group 6. A classic green, green base for Lesney. Cool lens, bro. Got that in quite a few colours. So that can slip through the net. Um, what is this? Oh, this is just a variant on this one. Both 35s. That the Fandango. Is that what they called that? Can't really read that one. Yeah, Fandango. So, a variant there, and we did, I think we covered that, didn't we? Maybe we didn't. Anyway, let's look it in. I think we did. Um, this was the Wash and Push. I saw him in the catalogue somewhere. But that's got that there engine. And some from recently. Um, they kind of brought it back, the idea of an out there engine, but not really for that one. And it's variant. That was from the Coca-Cola set I got recently. So I ripped that open. Ford Coupe. So the buddy -os. And last but not least, uh, oh no, we've got some more. Hang tight. Is that one there? 
Um, that's the one that came in all dusty, you know, and I had to clean it up. Uh, plastic base, made in China, we'll use street rod. So you can go with the other two street rods. Um, got a couple of Tanzaras. Where are we? See if we can find them. Yep, there we are. Tanzara came in at number 53 in 1974. So I'll move these to the side. See if I can get a, a full table of uh, end screen end screen shot cars. So he came out in white and black, but they didn't call it the Tanzara then, no, they called it the Midnight Magic. Same thing. So they can just slip in as out their engine qualifiers. Um, the Capris have had a few showings, so we won't talk about those. Here's the orange one. Royal Medics. Definitely are their engines. Um, I'm in the process of sourcing the taxi version of that one. So that'll be fun to get. And... Oh. This thing's just popped up twice and I'm not sure if I've covered it. So let's do that now. It's the Scooper Cooper, oddly. So that's an out there engine. So they've got um, three different cars of all the same colour. Very confusing. So it's those ones. And we'll call this one the last but not least. Uh, this has been in a couple of catalogues and I've just sort of skipped over it because I couldn't find it. Well, here it is. See if we can read the base. It's 1975. Big Bull. Maybe we'll have to find it now. See, they um, configured these differently year on year. They had the planes in the front first. Well, no, I may never find it now. It's one of those things, isn't it? No, you just have to trust me. It's a matchbox. There it is there. And I think we'll just crowd out the table with everything we've seen so far over parts one, two, and three. We had all the humongous engines with the big bangers. Uh, they're off shot right now, but I'll pan. Instant collection of big bangers. Never thought I'd say that sentence. <laughs> and we'll put those over there. And the flying bugs can go on the right. And the Baja buggy and Mini Haha. Wow, it's a who's who of out their engines. And the motorbikes. Can go over there, the Stingaroo the Jumbo Jet, and I forget the name of the bull. Mm. Chop suey. So there you have it. Wow. Um, I'll just pan rather than try and get this off the tripod. So that was part three of three of old school out there engines. What a crowd. Hope you enjoyed these shows. If you did, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.